And finally tonight, yesterday we talked to one of the inventors behind the cardboard bicycle. And that reminded us of two women we spoke to earlier this year who invented an invisible bike helmet. The helmet's quite the thing to see in action, so we thought we'd take another look tonight. Känslan av cykelhjälmen, så som jag minns den från när man var liten, den är väldigt obehaglig. De är ju otroligt skrymmande och stora. Det är liksom Two Swedish women started with the premise that it's chicken to be realists. What were they unrealistic about? Well, they wanted to develop an invisible bike helmet. And after seven years of tinkering, it seems like they've done it. And we're joined by uh, one of the two adventures uh, direct from Sweden, Anna Haupt, who you were telling me just before we went on, your name actually means head in German? Yes, yes, it does. A very happy coincidence. Um, <laughs> so we're hey. going to make people wait just a second to know how you invented an invisible bike helmet. But first, what's wrong with a normal helmet? We actually started by asking people, people in the city why they didn't use bicycle helmets. People know about the risks in traffic, but still they aren't using the, these traditional ones. And um, they said they wanted something fold, small and foldable. They wanted it to be invisible. It shouldn't destroy their hair. And the helmet should look like it's blending into the rest of their style. So let's see what you came up with. It's basically an airbag for your head. It's kind of a, a scarf or a collar that you wear that when impact happens covers your head almost like a like a big football helmet would but it, it's basically an airbag right yeah it's shaped like a hood uh, with an inner and an outer hood with helium gas inside that inflates the airbag in the accident how, how much so, does it weigh when it's just around your neck it's uh, 670 grams so that's about a pound and you've been selling them now for what about six months yes how many have you sold that's secret. That's secret. What's not secret is that they ain't cheap, huh? 4,000 kroner, more than 600 US dollars. Yeah, I mean, it's a completely new invention. It's really rocket science in a scarf. It has cost us almost uh, 10 million dollars to just to develop it. Wow. Some of them are on the street now. How are they working? And they work really fine. <laughs> we got a really nice uh, letter from a German woman uh, from Berlin that said that she was uh, bicycling on a really narrow street and there was a taxi driver opening uh, his taxi door just in front of her. So she didn't have any time to stop. And she was flying over the taxi door right into a me metal cycle stand with her head. And then the airbag inflated for her and she said thank you this great invention saved my life and uh, even now I get goosebumps from just you know thinking of this because it's worth all the struggle that we've been through when we get to hear those stories yeah that's great uh, can people in the US get them not yet. Uh, we're working on it. We feel there's a, a great demand from, from the states, especially from New York and San Francisco. Yeah. And here uh, in D.C. as well, there are a lot of bikers. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, good luck. I think that completes our series of strange bicycle inventions, although we're always on the lookout. Uh, send your tips. That'll do it for us for tonight. Full things up. See you back here tomorrow.